Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. In this season, we play with hardcore difficulty settings as shown here, including permadeath, which means I lose all skills and any tech I learned since my last death. Three times the amount of zombies spawn and zombie strength is set to max. Virus death rate set higher than hardcore, so I can die easier from viral infection when my antibody stat reaches zero. Loot distribution is set to rare, so very few containers have loot in them. Not only that, but the amount of loot in the containers is minimal. The loot respawn interval is set to zero, so absolutely no respawn. What I find is what I get. Just grab that food out of my pack, uh, the mushrooms and the meat. Even though I don't really need it, I want to gonna get it organized because I'm gonna have to do something with it before it rots and it's pretty close to rotting I think uh, unless I already ate it all one two three four five six oh hmm did I I didn't put it in one of these today no I, maybe I left it behind oh there it is okay I must have put it in here the last episode and I forgot about it all right, so we do have it all gathered and ready to go. I've got that fish. I should probably fillet it soon, maybe before I leave. We should have enough arrows. Like, there aren't as many zombies in this one as the last one. It's like half as much for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. But we're only here for the coal, so this should be pretty quick. Everything looks good for stats. And, uh, yeah, it should just maybe... Maybe one pack of coal and, and I should be good to go. I don't really need the copper here. I'll take whatever I, I get, but I don't really need it. Uh, I don't think I have any stone to make another pickaxe. So I'm going to have to go back. It's not good that on Bandit Camp Day my aim is off. <laughs> my aim is not too good today for some reason. But that's okay. Should be doing the Bandit Camp here pretty quick. Uh, I'm just going to finish filling up my pack maybe about halfway or so. I just mostly want that uh, black military bag filled up. And uh, once that's full we're going to go down south and build a camp by the Bandit Camp. 
and see what we can do there. I think that's pretty much it for here. I think we're on our way out. Should be enough coal for a little while, a few months, maybe a year. I don't imagine I'm going to be making a lot of uh, ore after I get everything built anyway. I might be able to spoil myself with some iron tools or steel tools, but I don't really uh, see much more use for it after everything gets built. You know, I think what I'm going to do is... Before I head out here, I'm going to make a, uh, a smoking rack and just smoke some of that meat before I go. Just need some iron. That'll work out pretty good. At least I get to keep some protein. I might actually smoke another stack here. Another four. So I still I have the fish, right? So I can still cook that. If it'll fillet into anything. Getting pretty old now. See if I get anything out of it here. I got one fillet. That's oh, better than nothing, I guess. Wait on that meat. Actually, I'll wait for this to finish cooking and then I'm going to grab a couple hours. Carb and protein are looking really good, and uh, I should have enough water here to last the bandit camp. And what are we missing? Just sleep, really. I probably have enough energy just to get down there, though. I'm going to wait for this, and then we'll get out of here. Try to get that bandit camp before dark. Oh, I should have ate that food, actually, before the, the camp. Give me some extra stamina. It would have been a little bonus, but... I mean, it doesn't last forever, so it's not a big deal. No one is full. May as well get my clothing together. I don't really want to use these shoes. They're really good for defense, but uh, they're really heavy too, so I need to be able to run. I'm going to get a little toasty, I think. Uh, I do have the pot, so that's good to go. The other one's got a little more head protection. And the jerky's ready, and I think we're ready to go here.
Check my water. Probably use one more there. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and cook up two more water. It'll just take a few seconds here. So we have a an extra campfire here. I'm just gonna take it with me. And I think that's it. I think we're out of here. I'll just check this bench real quick, make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. And I'd like to take the rock home, but uh kind of running out of room at this point. I'll just leave it. I hate like I, I don't mind mining rock, but I kinda don't like it either. Not when I need like a few hundred stone, then it kinda sucks. All right, we have all our bags. We've got 30 liters of fuel, which isn't much. I think before I leave the bandit camp, I'm going to have a look at the interactive map one more time. And instead of going home this way, uh, someone mentioned in the comments that I could at least park my vehicle here and then run up here and see if I can find some gun oil. That's not a bad idea. I wish uh, I wish I had thought about that earlier on my way down here. I would I probably would have done that. But I'm going to see if there's any gas stations on the way home this way. And I'll, I'll head home this way. And hopefully I can find some fuel. I'm going to look at my gear real quick. Yeah, that jacket will need a repair after the first... Uh, oh, those shoes too. Those are the best shoes I have. I might get lucky and find some good shoes up there. Generally, it's pretty good loot when you do find loot at the bandit camp. So we'll see. Zero impact resistance. 56 defense though. I should I should be able to take a few shots. All right, let's get out of here. Go south, and we'll set up camp. And uh, actually, I think we're gonna hit the road, and then we're gonna set up right off the road. The one thing about the bandit camps near the road is uh, it. I I find them easier to take down because it's easier to run on the road and recover a body on the road and have them chase you on the road and then turn around. When you get too far, they turn around and run back. There it is there. Yeah, that's how close we are. Let's just have a look at... See, now what I want is... Yeah, I've done this one before. And this barrier really, really gets in the way of your shots. They don't jump over things. So they'll try to find a way around it. But yet they'll keep firing at you. And they're hard to hit with the barrier. It's almost like having... Uh, traps actually so may i wonder if i can take advantage of that so maybe what i'll do is set up my traps right at the end of this barrier here and then run up the road here and you know get them to run down this way and get caught up here trapped in here but i don't have any any trees to hide behind maybe i can hide behind the barrier here yeah I'm gonna screw up my shots though i think i don't have a gun on me but it's easy to hit the barrier myself. Like, it's easy to shoot the barrier. I don't know. We can try it out. Yeah, this one's a weird one because of that, that boat barrier, for sure. Go ahead and set our spawn point. Get a couple hours sleep, and I like her stats are really good. Like we're really good. We should be able to last out the camp. It's not too hot. Everything's kind of ideal. It really depends on how this goes. Yeah, let's get my weapons. Let's drop this stuff on the ground. I don't want it getting in the way. Uh, we're also gonna need the sledgehammer at some point. So. I think that can only get go into slots one and two. I don't think I can have it in uh, number three there. I'm just going to turn the car around. I guess I should do that um, after I get my bags put back in.
Make sure we're reloaded. I bet I don't have a magazine for this weapon here. I'm going to go through those rounds pretty quick. And uh, those extra shots help. I don't want to keep reloading. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's not going to work. I will need that sledgehammer in there. But for now, I'm going to keep both weapons with me. I can keep the sledgehammer on me, though. One, two, three, four traps. Yeah, this is it. Gonna do the spawn point thing one more time. Call it paranoia. This is either gonna go really bad or really good. I don't think there's an in between. Not sure if I'm close enough for them to spawn in yet. Uh, I don't think that's one there. I just want to stay on this side of the barrier. This is going to screw me up. Like my shots. Because if they're on the downhill, their heads are going to be harder to hit. Oh, I saw some movement there. Okay, time to draw them out. Whoa, that was a big miss. Let's see what happens here. One. There's a lot of shots. See if I can loot him and uh Oh yeah, he's got some steel on him, that's good. Turn my brightness up, it looks like it's about to get dark. I think. Yeah. Where's that guy? Somebody's firing at me there. See if I can draw him out a little bit here. see anything so dark health is really good I only lost eight points try to get these guys looted some more steel some rounds which is great so that's three. Uh, small camps have about five minimum, I think. Of course, it's uh, the darkest type of night. It's raining and it's overcast and it's now nighttime. So this is the darkest it's gonna get in game ever with uh, full brightness. Oh, there we go. Another one. Health is still really good. No infections. Let's switch to the other weapon. 
just in case. Thirty rounds. That's excellent. I'd rather see an SKS. Condition on my gun is still pretty good. Another one. Oh, look at that. Two cans of gun oil. That's awesome. So I think that was five. I'm not sure. I think there's a guy up in the tower there. Maybe not. No. Man, if that was it, that was nothing. I'm always surprised by one, though. Like, almost always. So when I go into the camp itself, it's like an, a new one spawns or something. I haven't triggered any, uh, any reactions here. There is a fence here, so I shouldn't get shot. That might be it. No, uh, oh yeah, there is a guy up in the tower there. And he'll probably have a rifle. I'm gonna try to get him from the road here. May as well get some maintenance done. I'm not sure where he went, but we do have another guy with a rifle in there. I'm pretty sure he's not a melee guy. I got the fence to protect me now a little bit, but there is a guy in there. He must be on the other side of this gray building here, I guess. Usually they uh, they have sort of a, a, a route that they, a pattern that they follow. He should end up back up in that tower there, but I'm not sure where he is. I'm really freaked out right now. I know I saw a guy walking up there. There he is. Well, I guess I won that one. 30 rounds, I spent 15 and I got 30 back yeah I think that's it unless I get surprised let's uh let's keep my SMG on and we'll go in here and get this done real quick that way if I die I still got the NPC thank you there we go first NPC be you back at camp. Time to get to work. Let's see what we got for loot. Be nice if these places had fuel. Pretty sure they don't. Oh. Well, that's all right. Cold resistance is 45 on that? That's crazy. I don't think my jacket gets that good. Yeah, mine's like 35. Defense 30. This one's defense 28. Kind of like that. I don't think I've ever had one of those before.
Yeah, pretty junky loot so far. Hard to see those guys in this rain. More ammo. I see a weapon mod there on the desk. And a police helmet. This is interesting. I'll leave that there for now. That's for the refrigerator. And or the freezer. Inverter. Oh, I suppose I can use another one of those too. Man, I'm a little worried about running back to my car. I don't want to respawn anything. Because every time I leave, one comes back. Let's see what I can do here. Definitely don't need that. gun mod which I don't really need that's what's on my SKS right now I didn't realize there was so much stuff on the on the tables and stuff not used to that usually uh, what I'm used to is most of the loot sitting in, in containers at bandit camps and rotten food I think this is pretty much the last good building here Another inverter. And another inverter. That's a lot of battery tables. Iron. And I think that's pretty much it. Just check the ground in here because, uh, there's ground loot now, and I'm not used to that. Oh, look at that. There's loot up here, too. Okay, I'm going to have to go get my car now. Yeah, more ground loot at Bandit Camps. So that's new for me. So we got one NPC, and... Uh, I think we're gonna try for another one on the way home here. If I can find another small camp on the way home, I'll I'll go ahead and hit it. I may as well. I got tons of ammo. My guns are in good shape. See what kind of room I'm working with here. And seeing as that fish is going to rot. I may as well cook it. I don't have any sticks. There's one right there. Yeah, I'm surprised. That was pretty easy, actually. I got all worked up over nothing. Because I haven't been to one of these in a long time. And I've had some pretty terrible experiences at bandit camps before. And those kind of stick with you more than the good experiences, I think. There we go. Look at my stats. Like, pretty much maxed out except for uh, fatigue. I might actually switch to this gear here. Look at that head protection. 45. That's crazy. I think mine's like... I thought mine was good at 15. That's insane. We'll swap out that jacket too. And my defense is pretty much the same as it was before, except uh, kind of look cooler. A little messy. Didn't pick up any bleeds. I didn't pick up any infections. Like, it's all good. I'll have to dump some of this if I need the room. Based on past experience, there's a good chance that 
I have one bandit back there. Because every time I leave to go to my vehicle and I go back, there's usually a bandit. Yeah, there he is. He's shooting at my car. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. That one's got a shotgun. Like, I knew this was going to happen. I got to get back in there. There's some good stuff in there. That's one of them. Just got the shotgun guy now. What a punk. So two of them came back. Maybe even a third. I don't know. It's kind of lame, though. mil extended mag there's my mag for my uh smg and which model did we get we only got model one so that's 35 rounds model two would have been better there's a pistol there i found so many pistols in this playthrough yeah i wasn't expecting the ground loot now i'm gonna want to go to the manic camps that don't have any uh npcs just for that ground loot because there's a lot of weapon mods right and I don't care about trading them off so much, but like knowing that I can get some decent weapon mods just from ground loot, uh, that's a pretty good incentive to uh, take out a camp. I think that's it. Yeah, we're out of here. I'll have a look at the online map and see what else is available close by. Glad I got that gun oil though. We do need fuel, so I'm going to see if there's some gas stations here. And, uh, see if there's any more small camps on the way home. That turned out okay. So I had a look at the interactive map, and we're right here in G6. I can follow this road up north here, and there should be a gas station right here somewhere. Uh, it does show a crawler or a big fella there. I think it's a crawler. I'll have to be careful, but there is a gas station there, and a lot is actually riding on whether or not I find fuel there. I didn't get any blueprints at that Bennett camp, so I'm really depending on the gas stations now. Um, yeah, we're going to run up there and see if I can get some fuel. If I can, if I get really lucky and get four barrels of fuel, like really lucky, I, even though I don't have a lot of room left, I'll easily get rid of that coal, and I'll make the drive all the way up to... C1 here, and there's another small bandit camp up there with an NPC, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see if I can take that, and then I'll have two NPCs at the base, and that'll be a really good, you know, use of the fuel, I guess. Two NPCs, yeah, they should bring in quite a bit of supplies. I did make a bow though, didn't I? Or I I dropped my bow somewhere. I don't really want to use my weapons at the gas station. Let's just see if I can find that bow. Yeah, there it is. I'll use the rifle if if the crawler comes by and I might actually take off because I don't I don't want to waste the ammo. The crawler claw one claw isn't gonna do me any good. I need quite a few now for uh, good trades. And I'm not really looking at anything from the merchant for that cost claws. Oh look at that. I got a pack here that's pretty much empty. That works.
Looks like my condition on my SMG is pretty good. What I'll do is I'll get rid of my oil because I don't want to accidentally hit maintenance again. I've probably done that more often than I actually hit the mod button. And I've wasted a lot of uh, a lot of oil doing that. So we'll go ahead and equip that magazine. That should give me five extra rounds. Yeah, Model 2 would have been better, but I'll take it. I don't necessarily like having the weapons on me when I'm fighting zombies because it's if you get hit, like I think it takes I think your weapons get damaged. I think the condition goes down. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it does. I've had like an SKS in my hand while I was being shot just disappear. So I think they can be damaged. Grab that bow. We'll look for my arrows and just get set up here. Take the sticks and rocks out so I can set up a, a little mini camp. I've got two fur with me, so I didn't realize. So that's good. Try to use up some arrows. See if I can sneak that SMG in here somehow. There we go. I hate trying to manage inventory like this when I'm out. There's a lot of stuff here I don't need. I wonder if I can use that car repair kit yet. 62, not yet. Soon. So yeah, a lot is riding on this gas station. If it turns up empty, I'm kind of screwed for fuel. I'm going to have to come up with a new plan. Because that's going to, it's going to cost me quite a bit of fuel, like to do this whole round trip and end up back home. If I can find a lot of fuel, I can hit another bandit camp. If I don't find any fuel, I have to go home. Because I, I don't think I'll make it home if I go to that bandit camp. Whoops. What else is down here? Like, I'm really full, so there's no point in doing anything too major. But there is a military base here, too. I'd love to be able to do that. But I, I just got way too much stuff on me. Another dig. Now, I have been up here before, close to that gas station. I found some blueprints. Uh, I was looking back in another video because... I couldn't remember if I did that gas station or not, but yeah, that's, uh, there's like an, a little mini oil refinery behind there, and uh, you got my bullet production blueprint from there, plus some arrow blueprint. If there's any vehicles on the road, um, most likely I haven't checked them. I don't think I've been down here before, so I'll stop for vehicles. There's a port down there too. I mean, that could have fuel. You know, maybe I'll do the port. Because if that's got fuel, then I'm golden. And I don't ever have to come back here again. Like, this is so out of the way, right? So to, well, I don't have the room. I wish I could just run in there quick, but I can't. I mean, I guess I can run through there and see if there's any fuel on the ground and jump in the water and run for my car. Oh, I need some sleep too, don't I? A little bit of fuel out of these vehicles would be nice too. Every little bit helps at this point. Pretty sure I haven't checked these. I might have, but I don't think I have. Yeah, I haven't been here. Yeah, there could be lots of fuel there. I mean, I probably knew there was a port here, but it's so far from home that I, I don't really think about it. So it looks pretty dense in here too. I might have to drive off into the woods a little bit just so I don't attract anything. But I have been in there. I've looted that first section out uh, when I was down here grabbing books. But I don't have a bed or anything set up. I guess I never set up a bed. But I've checked these houses here. There's a gas station there. There's some vehicles to check too, so I might get lucky with uh, some blueprints that I need. In a couple hours, my stats look pretty good. I'll have a drink here and then I'll, uh, I'll cut some trees down and set up some traps. 
Let's just have a look. See what it looks like. Yeah, there's a few zombies. I don't have a ton of room. What's my weight like? Not very good. Just looking for an escape route. I'll just have to run back to my car and, and uh, oh, there's a dog, and drive. We'll start with that, see how that turns out. There are a lot of zombies, though. I might have to set up a workbench just to make more arrows. It's going to be bright here for a second or two. Jeez. I don't necessarily need the skin, but I need those arrows back if I can get some. And no recovered. shot curious what my firearm skill is at yeah we didn't gain too much from the bandit camp got a little bit wonder if I can loot this guy before he disappears and I think I just Woke them all up. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, four of those guys and none of them were lined up with the traps. That's not a good scene. There's supposed to be a crawler here somewhere too, so. Man, are they ever dense? I wish they'd spread out a little bit. Another dog there too. So far so good. I don't see the crawler yet. Make sure I'm loaded on my rifle there yeah. I think that's a spitter over there. Arrows are starting to get a little low. Not sure if I have enough to complete this area. Trying to see if I can spot that crawler anywhere. A dog's uh, kind of in a bad spot. I gotta see if I can pull him out of there. There we go. Still not seeing that crawler.
got a few of those arrows back. Uh, there's a few zombies on the other side of the fence. I don't see anything in the gas station itself. I think I see the crawler straight ahead. It may be the crawler or it could just be a walking zombie, but I see movement down there. Arrows are getting pretty low. Might even be able to loot this house. I see something on the ground there. It looks like a toolbox. Let's uh, let's see if I can sneak in here for one of these. Uh, we got one barrel. There's some ground loot over there. Gotta get rid of these logs. Okay, so we got two barrels of uh, fuel. I don't know if that's a, that's enough to do this trip, but I'm not sure if I want to uh, spend on the um, on going up to that other bandit camp yet. Oh, something heard me. I think. I just don't want to get trapped in here with a zombie. Ah, dang it. Definitely not going to stay in there with two zombies. I didn't get an infection. Been really lucky with the infections. My my health is down a little bit. Not a lot of arrows left. Surprised there's no loot here. Oh, there's a little bit. Some coffee. That's it. Not much in here at all. Okay, so we get two barrels of fuel. I've got these vehicles to check. There's a chance that they they could have blueprints. I'm not sure if I've ever found blueprints at a gas station though. I don't I don't know if that matters. But if I set that alarm off, my car is pretty far away. I could use that battery, I guess. I need fuel and blueprints more. Only got eight. Well, I got the rifle too, so I should be okay. There it is. Here they come. I can take these guys. I might have enough arrows for two of these. Where are they? Oh! They're not car alarm zombies. They're just uh, zombies that heard the alarm. Uh, three, eight, 16 arrows.
Still not seeing that crawler. Let's try that car again. Three. Yeah, I've, I've got enough arrows for a couple. A little more fuel. Drop that on the ground. Come on, hiking bag. Find b bags and vans. I think most often for vehicles. Oh, another M4. So that'll be great for a second MPC. Well, that works. We can get rid of this fuel right now. It's down to 25. Like, two barrels didn't even fill me up. That's it. We're done here. I can maybe check out this house. That'll be it for this video. And you know what to do to show your support. Appreciate all the comments. Thanks for watching.